Hey there Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your monthly tarot overview for August 2023. Quick reminder guys, uh, I do also have monthly astrology as well as weekly tarot on this channel, so if you are new, you might want to go check those out too. You know, we've got a lot going on. Also, if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And for goodness sake, check your rising sign and your moon sign too when it comes to tarot, because as you can see, I'm very thorough and ceremonious when it comes to setting up for my works and workings, and your rising sign is going to be giving you a lot more clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign is going to show you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the month. This month, your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the Three of Cups, Reversed. And this is going to be a month where your social world, your network, your community or communities need to be given some serious focus from you. Because the Three of Cups Reverse can often indicate where we need to pay closer attention to where our environment is not working the right way or has not been serving the right way or could be better. A lot of the times with the Three of Cups Reverse though, we are focusing more on the platonic situation. So friends, family, coworkers, teams, communities, and things like that. A lot of the times with the Three of Cups Reverse, it's one of two things, either one, there's not enough engagement, there's not enough social interaction, there's not enough flow, and we need to be putting ourselves out there more, or we may be dealing with situations where maybe the certain social arrangements that we have have been keeping us stuck in one spot or even working against us in some way. We've all probably been in situations, right, I certainly have historically, where I've even had communities or work situations or even stuff here on YouTube and online where it's kind of come to my attention that some people don't lift you up. They don't promote you. Don't, they don't help you grow because they want to keep you where you are, whether that means they feel it's accessible to them or they're just kind of, you know, using you in some way. You want to be very careful this month to make sure that if you catch these things, you're fixing these things because you can have a really good month with this card. It's just it's not going to be good all by itself or just magically get better all on its own. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs, as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Eight of Swords upright. And so this month, you are going to be encountering a situation that does have a fix, that does have an escape, that other people just don't seem to be trying to fix or trying to escape or trying to improve. A lot of the times with the Eight of Swords, we see a situation where um, a situation is only bad because people are letting it stay that way. Now, you may be put in a situation where you can make the escape yourself, and that can often happen with the Eight of Swords, right? We look at the girl in the picture. She can cut her binds loose on the swords and take her own blindfold off and just walk off. She doesn't have to stay there. But you may be dealing with situations where you have to be ready to cut some dead weight loose. You may be have you know you may have to be ready to walk away from certain clients or certain professional or financial agreements, and you may need to be ready to accept others. You just got to understand that with this Eight of Swords, a lot of things that you are transcending are not able to go with you because look, if you can't if you, if you haven't overcome your own struggle, you can't come into the next part of the party. And I think that you're getting a chance to do that this month, but you need to be ready to go overhead and walk away from things that are choosing to stay paralyzed. When it comes to community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Six of Pentacles reversed. And with the Six of Pentacles reversed, you might actually be deciding to go no contact with somebody that you have associated with. This could be a friend or formerly a friend at this point, uh, a, a relative, a, a collaborator, or maybe a certain corner of your community. And with the Six of Pentacles, what you're doing is you are actually opening up valuable space for a replacement that's also going to be showing up this month that is going to be a lot more supportive and a lot more helpful and a lot more valuable to you. With the Six of Pentacles reversed, this could also be unburdening you from something that has been draining you in some way. When it comes to your challenge this month, you've got the Six of Swords reversed. Be careful about the fear of moving on. Because the Six of Swords reversed can sometimes indicate 
getting stuck in one spot, having our boat go in circles, or again, staying in a situation that's not growing, that's not improving, or staying with people or in engagements or associations or involvements that are just kind of content to not grow, not move, not evolve. And this can be paralyzing, right? We kind of talked about that with the Eight of Swords in the work area. But this can also happen in other corners of our world as well. With the Six of Swords reversed, there may be uh, some risk of a certain past patterns repeating or even the temptation to reconnect with projects, plans, and people that really are no different than they were in the first place. And you're going to want to make sure that you are giving yourself the clean slate that's afforded to you this month instead. When it comes to your relationships and love and romance, partnerships, and your personal life, you've got the Ace of Swords upright. And for those of you who have watched me before, you know I refer to this as the green light card or the road opener card. Because the Ace of Swords is all about getting a chance to make a fast break, a fast jump, and a fast start. For a lot of you who are coupled or are married, this is going to be a month where you and your partner are going to be getting a chance to enact some kind of big move or big shift or big... Um, yeah, let's just say some, some, some big aspiration or, or start some new chapter in your relationship that you and they have maybe been trying to work in to your relationship or to your family for some time, but to no avail. Something that you've been waiting on may actually finally be available, all of the pieces are coming together, or you may even find with the Ace of Swords upright, a partner is also going through a bit of an awakening, a bit of a new beginning themselves, which is putting a fresh coat on the entire relationship. They are going through an internal transformation and a social transformation that's going to make it very sexy to be around them. For those of you who are single or available to new people, this is going to be a month where, yeah, the roads for love are very wide open and clear. In fact, the Ace of Swords upright, you may be finding that um, you may be getting approached or something is getting initiated that will hit the ground running. Make sure we keep our heads on straight. You are an adult who should be able to do that. And make sure that you enjoy yourself. There's also going to be a brilliant new intellectual rapport and connection and um, pastime that is getting birds for you and your sweetheart, both those of you who are coupled and those of you who are meeting somebody new maybe this month or starting something new this month. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.